Hey, welcome back to the channel, my fellow weather junkies. I'm your host, meteorologist Greg Majeski, your trusted weather source, bringing the weather without all that social media hype here on your May 7th, 2025. Now, before we get going, first, we'd like to always say thank you and welcome aboard to any new subscribers here to the channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed, what you waiting for, my friend, please hit that subscribe button in the lower hand corner. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted on future content. And if you appreciate the support, please leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. It does help support the channel. All right, we're going to start with our big picture look as we're looking at our latest satellite imagery right there as we're still tracking these two upper level lows that are uh, finally showing signs of some movement. Uh, the one up here across the northeast, it's starting to head on out. This one here in the middle of the country, well, it's going to kind of meander here across the southeast for a while, it looks like. It's cut off, so it looks like we're going to have the high rain chance that's going to linger here across the southeast. Obviously, we're seeing some very heavy rain and thunderstorms here along the Gulf Coast, here along Texas and Louisiana. And we'll see more rounds of showers and thunderstorms across the southeast here for really the next seven days. It's looking very, very wet indeed. All right, looking at the current watches and warnings, because of all that rain, we do have uh, flash flood watches here across the Gulf Coast area from Alabama over toward Texas. Hey, look at this. You've still got some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings here in the higher elevations of Colorado here for today as well. And we do have a little bit of fog there you see there across portions of Texas. So let's go ahead and look at our surface map right now. Again, we got that stationary boundary here uh, down along the Gulf Coast. That's going to be a bit of your triggering mechanism here uh, for today. The upper level system still hanging back here across Kansas. So definitely going to be a little damp, wet, and a little... Um, little uh, blow normal with the temperatures there. And there's that other upper level low that was hanging around the Ohio River Valley. It's starting to move on out out of Canada, but still a little unsettled there for the northeast here for today. So the main radar threat, we're going down here toward the Gulf Coast as we're looking at heavy rains here right along Louisiana, setting all the way back here along the Texas Gulf Coast. See a lot of lightning in there. Pretty good downpours there in the Galveston area for this morning. And uh, looks like we'll see that uh, pretty much stay pretty much wet and stormy all day for today. Now, yesterday we had about 104 storm reports out there, four tornado reports, uh, one in Arizona, one in New Mexico, one up near New Jersey, and one there in Louisiana. So I don't think we'll see anything quite that robust today. I think the activity will settle down a little bit here on your uh, Wednesday. So let's go look at your Storm Prediction Center breakdown. We're going to be looking at the next three days. Obviously, you're seeing where the marginal risk is here across the Gulf Coast area uh, as we're going to be dealing with uh, just a slight risk for severe weather here. It doesn't look all that bad. Again, we're looking at that slight risk here in that yellow uh, coming right down through here. So this is what we're looking right there. See the marginal risk there. Got a little general thunderstorm there across the northeast and here across the intermountain region and you know, little areas going into the southeast. But not looking too bad here for your day one. Day two, well, it looks like a larger marginal risk here uh, kind of coming in here across the Atlantic, coming into the southeast, into south Texas here and down along the Gulf Coast. So looking a little unsettled there. General thunderstorm threat here across portions of the High Plains and into the Rockies and across Colorado and into New Mexico. Day three outlook, <clears throat> much smaller, looking like we go looking at the marginal risk here across the Carolinas and in town toward Florida and still maybe some general thunderstorms out here toward Wyoming and into Colorado. So let's go ahead and break down the category uh, breakdown here for day one I'm talking about today. So tornado risk is running pretty low. Looks like just right along the Gulf Coast, maybe an isolated water spout coming off on, sh on shore maybe. Uh, but running generally about 2% here from Pensacola uh, going over to near Beaumont, Texas here for today as far as the tornado threat. How about the high wind threat? Well, that's a little bit bigger, bigger area there in coverage area right along the Gulf Coast. Again, you see those hefty thunderstorms this morning and you see it but once again this afternoon from San Antonio stretching over to near uh, Destin for today for scattered storms that may produce winds upwards to 60 miles per hour. We'll have to watch for that. As far as the hail threat for today, that's probably running pretty relatively low. One little bullseye there in that slight risk zone, uh, again, forming from San Antonio, heading up to near Galveston, stretching down Port Lava, uh, down there, almost just to the north of Corpus Christi. So this will be our, cal our hail zone here to threat today. Probably quarter inch hail. Nothing that'll be too bad to worry about for later this afternoon. So let's go ahead and talk about the model data. We want to go ahead and give you the latest on that. We're going to take a look first at the high resolution model data as we kind of progress here uh, for the next couple of days. Got to give you an idea of where things are going to be. So let me switch over to that right there. And again, what's going to remain unsettled? We're going to see this area up here to the northeast. Again, things begin to improve out of this as this slowly moves on out. But this upper level low is going to keep the southeast very unsettled here, uh, not only for the next couple of days, but really straight into the weekend as well. So uh, they, again, uh, just plan on having your umbrella handy in here across the southeast as this low slowly spins and moves off in this direction. You see more activity here forming across Texas, more activity across the southeast, and even into the mid-Atlantic getting a little bit active 
with the weather as well. So this is going in for you Wednesday and going throughout the day on Thursday as we're going to look pretty wet there. And some of the heavy rainfall amounts will be pretty impressive there across portions of Louisiana as well. They've already seen a lot of heavy rain so far over the last 24 hours or so. So let's go ahead and talk about the rain totals here. We'll go look at that real quick. Again, you see where the highest rain totals are down here across Alabama <clears throat> along the Gulf Coast. Some pretty decent rains here across Kansas over toward Missouri and into Kentucky and some rains up here into the northeast. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this area here across the southeast. Obviously, Louisiana looking at uh, some pretty impressive rainfalls in here, uh, showing four inches there, uh, four inches there in Louisiana. Miss Southern Mississippi showing two, two and a half, three inches there, almost four in Southern Mississippi and getting some good th uh, two, three inch totals here even, even in Alabama. So we're looking at some pretty good heavy rains here across the southeast. So make sure if you're in that part of the country, uh, have that umbrella handy. And you see the scattered rain threats here. That's Alabama, Georgia, uh, again, Kentucky, stretching back into Missouri. Missouri's got some pretty decent rains. Again, that's that upper level low that's got rain's going to be kind of steady there for the next couple of days uh, going through Kansas and in through Missouri. Uh, Kansas showing over an inch. There's an inch and a half, almost two inches there. So again, remaining unsettled here with the rain totals over the next couple of days. Now let's go ahead and take it day by day. Let's take it to the next seven days. We're focused on the seven days because anything beyond seven days is kind of an extrapolation. Really, you're kind of looking at what the model is going to give you the, the most likelihood of what's going to happen in a seven-day forecast period. So we're going to look at the the European model here. We're going to take you through every day step by step. We'll kind of highlight where the trouble zone is going to be here uh, as we go into this upcoming weekend. So Looking at your Friday afternoon right here is what we're looking at right now. Uh, we're going to be looking at things looking a little bit on the wet side out there as we're going to be dealing with some of the uh, some of the weather out there that's going to continue to stay a little unsettled. So let's go talk about the northeast here as we're looking at uh, some rainy weather up here across portions of the northeast. Uh, not looking bad here during the during the morning hours on Friday, but we're still going to fire up some afternoon showers and sunstorms there across the southeast. You know, it's by late in the day, we're still scattering some storms down there. Let's go into your Saturdays. Let's go into Saturday afternoon. Still look at a low area, low pressure here across the northeast remains unsettled. Again, still wet and rainy across the southeast. Uh, most of the high plains looking pretty good. We're dry up here and dry out here in Southern California as well going into the weekend. So uh, the southeast, northeast, not looking too good for your weekend on Saturday. Progressing this into Sunday, Sunday afternoon there. We'll look at there again. Still looking a little damp here across the southeast, but it looks like we at least dry out here across the northeast. High plains looking pretty good here. And then we got another storm system coming out here on the west coast. So we got uh, onshore flow and bringing in some rains there across portions of Washington State and into Oregon as we go throughout your Sunday. So we're talking about May, May 11th there on Sunday. So going into your Monday, Monday afternoon, we'll talk about that. Still looking at that upper level low, still hanging back here once again. Still looking wet and dreary and stormy here across the southeast. Wet and dreary here across Northern California into Washington State and into Oregon. Northeast, got high pressure holding on, not looking too bad there. And the high plains looking pretty good there on your Monday as well. Stepping into your Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. Well, we start to see this thing finally start to pull on out of here. Uh, still some residual rains across the southeast, but the mid-Atlantic starts to get wet here on Tuesday. And a little unsettled here for the Intermountain region as that next storm system moves on in. Even some uh, snow still showing up there across portions of Nevada and the higher elevations of Montana and Idaho. Still getting a little bit of snow even into May uh, with that storm system there. And then finally taking out to day seven, going out to Wednesday afternoon, uh, going out to two o'clock there. Uh, looks like unsettled weather up here across the northeast. The southeast finally gets to dry out after about a week of unsettled weather. And then we're going to have to watch the high plains here, folks, going into next week. So uh, going up here, uh, going in toward Wednesday, could be a severe component for this going into the Dakotas. Uh, so it looks like we're going to get a little bit of a break as far as organized large severe weather events. Looks like the next one uh, coming in will be going into next Wednesday as that next storm system pulls out of the Rockies. So I'm going to back this up a little bit here as this storm system comes out, going, it comes out of, of the Rockies and into the high plains, right up into there. So the storm system is going to kind of come out of California and then eject right up this way. And then that we'll have to watch this zone here uh, for possible uh, severe weather as well as tornadoes. Looks like a pretty good dynamics with that. Now, as far as the rain total for the next seven days, let's look at that. The southeast is really going to be where it's going to be happening, the northeast and the southeast. Uh, again, we got some rains, obviously, here into the, the northwest with that storm system coming on. But these rain totals here across the southeast over the next seven days, very impressive. Look at these, a lot of, uh, again, seven-day totals here. So uh, you're looking at a lot of four-inch totals in here across Alabama, Mississippi, even five-inch and six-inch here across southern Georgia, the Florida Panhandle, six and a half inch, over six inches there as well. Uh, look at that, almost seven inches there across Georgia. So this whole area across Mississippi and Alabama will be seeing some very wet weather. And this will continue all the way up into areas of the Mid-Atlantic as well. Not quite as heavy, 
uh, but still looking at two and a half inches, two and a half inches, uh, inch and a half there in East Tennessee. And then even going into the Northeast a little bit, seeing some heavier rains up here over three inches over the next seven days. So a little wet up here across the Northeast as well. Uh, going into next week. So kind of looking once again at the, at the wider perspective, uh, looks like we're going to stay wet here across the eastern third of the United States. Middle of the country looking pretty dry and a little wetter here out toward the west coast as we go for heading into next week. So let's go ahead and wrap this up, look at your latest climate outlook here and see how things are progressing. We are going to see a little bit of a pattern change uh, taking place here. So we'll do an update on this. And the big shift is going to be out toward the west. You notice that we're seeing uh, things uh, getting much cooler out here. So we're looking at below normal temperatures out here on the west coast. A little unusual to see rain and uh, storms coming in. Uh, getting to May, we start to start dry things come out. But we are going to stay warm and above normal temperatures here across the Minnesota area into Iowa and into Wisconsin, almost flirting with some summertime temperatures there. Uh, because of the rain here across the southeast, uh, you know, near normal here across Georgia, back over toward areas of, of Texas. And this again goes from the 12th to the 16th of the month. So what about going into deeper? Let's go check out the 8th to the 14th. That pattern's going to continue to hold. We're going to look at it kind of expand as well. Look at how much below normal temperatures here for a big portion of the west. Uh, big warm up though here in the east as we're going to see above normal temperatures out here in the east. So it looks like we're going to say um, that's going to set up the situation for later in the month where we'll see those battlegrounds, I think, start to form. So we're going to get a little bit of a reprieve in the severe weather. It looks like next week, next Wednesday, the high plains will start to fire off. And then what we have to watch for later in the month, because what we're seeing here is these cool pockets kind of rushing into this warmer air. And thus that could set up the severe weather there across the middle of the country. So heading into the second half of the month, going beyond the 20th, uh, could set up for a little more active severe weather, especially across the high plains. We'll have to watch that very closely uh, indeed as we go deeper into the month of May. All right, that is y'all's update here for today. Again, appreciate everybody checking out the channel here again. I uh, do like the revised format here, try to keep it simple, not trying to get overly complicated, but just kind of keep you weather informed what's going on and where the best uh, best uh, situation as far as weather is concerned here in your neighborhoods. If you do have a weather related question, as always, you can post it down below. I'm more than happy to answer your one on one question. Perhaps you got an event coming up or something that you're concerned about. I'm more than happy to answer your question. And as always, please share this page with your family and friends out there in the YouTube universe as we try to strive to become a player here uh, giving you critical weather updates without going over the top. That's my motto. I like to kind of keep you safe and keep you formed, but not scared. All right, that's your weather, that's your weather update here for today. Again, y'all be good, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.